Maggie Lodge, located in Bansang in Central River region of the Gambia, over 300 kilometers from Banjo, is a home from home for national and international sojourners traveling to CRR or beyond. <laughs> The proprietor of the lodge, Dr. Mamudu Lamin Kanjadabo's main objective for investing in the hospitality industry is to contribute his quarter to national development and also give Bansang Town visibility and a facelift. The master of ceremony, Mr. Yaya Fal, invites the Alkalo of Bansang, Alaji Seibe Dabo, to officially welcome the guest. The Alkalo of Bansang, Mr. Alaji Seibe Dabo, to give us a welcome remark. Alaji Seibe Dabo, after welcoming the gathering, is gratified by the developmental projects taking place in Bansang under his dispensation as Alkali of Bansang. Good morning, everyone. Especially to the Vice President and my doctor, Dr. Sise, and the entire group here. As I said at the hospital, my standard of English is very low. So, if I can speak in Mandinka, it's where I am. All right, can do that. So, I will do that. Ala Barka Badi, un fembe ma beta jambe be kondona, ito ni kondona. Be kondona ro folo la na vice president la. Na kondona ro folo la nyang bita na mfang la doktor oya. Menge na sirif si sedi. Na bo oslom na doktor oya. Nous avons déjà été en train de se faire 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 Sila Kuda, Masin Kuda, Janareto Kuda. Abe Kuda dan Nawato Kuda. So therefore, the Gambia Masa Kunda Panam Batin Tula, Adam Barona Alamur, Barbitum, Ninde, Alga Yanjube Kontele Tamu, Ninga Nimari Meji Lua, Mani Ninkava Alamsafiolele. Amapa la fa fe ngol la ka ni fe ngol memba be ni lo o fe ngol ti a sa muta bulle ay balwala fo jenna ala bata bara ni ki jam pour bansa na hiro wale na nanta ake dula ko rendo na programme lu ni ke no ja so be jama be jay la be tentu la ila na ka ka ma be ni be ondo ala barka CEO Numukunda Kanye extended special thanks to his uncles, aunties, and the rest of the family for his, for his upbringing. Uh, I would say we are very, very proud to have this magnificent conference hall. We can say from the Basse to Burikama, it is one of the best conference hall in around this area. I will not say much because we have a lot of activities for the Vice President today. Uh, but I would like to also say a big thank to our uncle, Momodu Dabo, and his brothers from Lawyer Usenu Dabo, uh, Yaya Dabo, and to Fad Adni Fanding, Sarah Yadikon Mariama, uh, Atika Jatu, Alaji and uh, Maudo, for making me today who I am. We also call him Ma. Like I said, the moment he speaks, people can always, always speak sense out of his speeches. So keep it up. This lodge is named after an American white lady who has the Dabo Kunda family and Bansang at heart. A very fantastic woman. A woman who really loves Bansang. 
the woman who really loved Dabakunda and everything associated with Dabakunda. She was white and white American, but she had acculturated to be a Gambian. It's not easy for an American white folk to raise up black kids and leave them, follow their culture. This is what Auntie Marge did for our children, for our daughters. She brought them up and never allowed them to shift away or get or resile away from their from their cultures from their tradition. It's Mandinka in the house and English in the schools. That is very rare. And, uh, this is an everlasting from memory of her, we can never forget who Auntie Marge was. In fact, I think it will be a disservice to her if I speak for her in the past. She is living, she is a living being with us because of what she has done with us, what she has done for us. We cannot speak of her in the past. And of course, this Majesty Lodge will forever, will forever make her live in our memories. And, uh, it's kind of a, uh, uh, it is kind of a satisfying to show her passion for the Gambia, her passion for Bansom. We hope it doesn't happen now, but we expect that when Dr. Dabo finally answers to the last call. We expect Maji also to be buried here, just as Dr. Dabo would be. That shows how much this woman loves the camp, loves Banjo, loves, loves, loves Bansan, and loves Dabo Kunda. The manageress, Ms. Banna Balde, floated the facilities within the lodge that can be compared to any of the five star hotels in the urban area. The multi-purpose hall has a standard stage, three meetings room, a restaurant and modern toilets attached to the main hall and the restaurant. The hall can be rented for workshops, retreats, weddings, musical nights and other club activities. Your Excellency, the lodge also has a wireless that is strong enough to be used around the wall perimeter of the compound. This, I believe, will help customers to communicate well by using the internet while they stay with us. I am therefore saying a big welcome to all of you again next time as guests. Thank you for your kind attention. The former chairman of the Gambia Tourism Board, Mr. Bakari Keba Jamme, welcomed investing in such magnificent edifice in our provinces that shall encourage tourists to visit the hinterland of the Gambia. Not having good accommodation and also facilities like this impedes people actually coming over here. Now this is actually going to attract people to come into, into this place. So I think uh, it's, a, it's a massive thing uh, for, for two. One of the things that uh, the Gambia as a country and the tourism board particularly is trying to do is uh, rural tourism. Uh, in the new Gambia tourism strategy, uh, the Gambia Tourism Board under my chairman for the last six years have been really encouraging this kind of uh, investment, not only to have quality bed, but to diversify our tourism portfolio. In the Gambia, uh, in addition to the Swan Sun and Sea, uh, we want to really uh, encourage rural tourism for a number of reasons. One, our main selling point is our people and uh, the diversity of our people, our culture, and uh, the various uh, cultural and heritage centers across the country. That's why uh, government, and particularly the Gambia Tourism Board, has been encouraging uh, private investors like Mr. Dabo to be able to do this. Uh, another thing we wanted actually to do is uh, to merge both business and, and, and pleasure uh, and, and knowledge sharing within the tourism product mix. 
uh, uh, to have a hole like this uh, gives you uh, the added advantage of being able to have uh, conferences, uh, uh, even weddings, and many other things, and exchanging ideas. So today, I am really elated that this thing is happening in Bansang, in the Central River region, because across the river there is the Wasu, uh, the World Heritage uh, Stone Circles, and even on this part of the uh, uh, of the river bank, there are many places that we can go. But more importantly, Bansang is on the bank of the Gambia River. Presenting the Governor of Central River Region, Mr. Janko Sane, Chairman Janjamburu Area Council, challenged other citizens of Bansang to emulate Dr. Dao. As I said, it's a sunny day. And then good morning to the Vice President, present, uh, the guests from Glasgow, National Assembly members, security chiefs, and all other people present. I would forgo, I mean, my position as chairman here to stand in the boots of the governor who is absent. And uh, for the re simple reason that we are all doing one and the same thing. It's one Gambia and then we are yearning for development. When it comes, it has no color, it has no position, it has no complexion. It's one uh, country. And for that reason, this complex being part of my hometown, although being chairman of the area council, it gives me a very, very big pleasure. Because now, when, since when this had been established here, the face of Banzang had started being changed. You can see the competition as uh, story buildings are being built and other things coming in. That is what is needed. It is said that any society wants to be a living society, it has to move with the times. And the times are saying people are coming from different backgrounds, not only in the country that we know, but from other backgrounds in other countries who live in uh, places like this, not our, the place that we usually know. So it is in place. If a son of this town, a son of this country can think of uh, something that would serve the people and uh, I mean, uh, I mean, display the progress that is happening in other parts of the country. I, I think it's a challenge to other people elsewhere to come up, especially in Bansang, wherever you may be in any part of the world, if you are successful enough to establish something that would go with the times, it is important to pick up the challenge and help the young ones who are coming up. The development of any country is propelled by private investors. Indeed, the development of many countries has come about not because of government's own investment. Government only provides the enabling environment and it's for the private sector to invest in the country, to invest in various sectors and this is what really develops the country. This is how the United States developed. It is the private sector that developed it. This is how Israel developed. This is how Kenya is developing. And this is how um, Rwanda is developing. We must also do the same thing. Gambian who have a few dollars, who have a few dollars, I would ask them to put those together in, so that they work in partnership and do this type of uh, investment in other, parts of the, in other parts of the country. And it's just not in the tourism area that we need this development. We need it in the agricultural sector, which is the backbone of this country, that we need it in the, I mean, the growing plantations, banana plantations. We need to do it with fruit farming. This we can and we should be able to do so. And I believe that uh, with a, a common desire, with a passion of our home, with a passion of our country, we should be able to emulate Dr. Dabo and do what he has done. The services that uh, this uh, conference center will provide, we hope that uh, the institutions in this country will make best of it, best use of it. We should just not encourage 
our folks in the diaspora to come and invest in the Gambia. But when they invest in the Gambia, we must make sure that their investments are not thrown into the gutter. We must make sure that, that they realize the full benefits of those, of those investments. And that can only be done by patronizing the institutions like this. And this can only be done by encouraging them to do further improvement on those investments. Honorable Sana Kausu Jawara, National Assembly member for Upper Fuladu West and a native of Bansang Town, assured the proprietor of Maggie Lodge of his relentless effort in promoting his business. Bansang Town is the regional hub of my constituency, Upper Fuladu West. And uh, it is a gratifying feeling since my assumption of uh, the Office of the National Assembly to date, to see some of the milestones we have registered in terms of social and economic developments. And this is by no exception one of those. Uh, this complex here today you know, uh, stands to attract quite a significant amount of business in terms of tourism, in terms of trade, but also other social, socio-economic activities that uh, is very much, was very much lacking for quite a significant amount of time. I must say that uh, I will assure you my relentless effort <laughs> to stand by the investor on this particular complex to see how we can promote his business in making sure there is good return on investment and making sure you know, there is uh, exposure as far as government ministries, departments and agencies are concerned in hosting their events in this uh, sp spacious uh, complex that you know is uh, behind me. In his official opening of Fuladu Conference Center, His Excellency Usenu Numukunda Dabo, the Vice President of the Gambia, thanked all those who joined him in making this landmark event a success. I don't know how to start and in what language I should start, but uh, maybe for the benefit of the Alcalo, Alai Sebe Dabo, let me just say two or three words in Mandinka and then uh, uh, then I may revert to English. Alkalba me kontona eko alkalukuta silakuta kodelukuta yanredo kuta omanke la 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 kutu wodi de yaga to jalo la kutu wole wasabu so i don't do it members of the national assembly here present uh, my friends from uh, Poland, Mr. Hoppers, and Patrick Bangi. My brother and friend, Dr. Sheriff Sise. The chairman, Janjam Reira Council. Our Karamokos here present. The heads of the divisional security forces in the Bansang, resident in Bansang as the Commissioner of Police, the Commissioner of uh, Immigration, and the Chief Representative of the Fire Service, the CEO of Majis Lodge, the manageress of Majis Lodge, my sister, Fatu, and brother Yaya, and of course, um, the members of my immediate family far to Yama, Mai, and all those well-wishers who have accompanied me this occasion. I acknowledge your presence and I'm very appreciative of the time you have taken off to be with us here today. My statement will be long. I want to acknowledge that uh, 
Dr. Dabo, who has built this very magnificent, let me use the word, edifice, is also in a way contributing to the development of this country. And this edifice is really one of the things that the Gambia government envisions in the National Development Plan. That is to say, to promote tourism in the Gambia. And we cannot just have tourism confined to urban Gambia without really rural Gambia also taking of the benefits of tourism. This is a very modest contribution towards that. And also a contribution towards facilities that can be used by government, by NGOs, by corporations. We do have government retreats, and I believe that the Fuladu Hall that we are about to uh, inaugurate provides such a facility that can be used even, if I may say so, by cabinet. Cabinet can hold meetings here. So we applaud Dr. Dabo's efforts. It is uh, with uh, singular honor that uh, I'm given the privilege of uh, uh, presiding over the official opening of the Fulado Conference Center, which has come about through the efforts of my brother. Um, we grew up together here uh, in Bansang. We did everything together. I think uh, in the family, we know each other more than any other member of the family knows us. Um, when we are there, not even Fatu, not even Fatu was, uh, uh, was, 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 big, was, was big enough, not to talk of Yaya. So for me, it's certainly a very uh, special day that uh, I do on behalf of my brother what he should himself be doing. Because I asked him that if he should wait until the end of December to do this, then no. Elijah, you are there. I can't wait for the for end of December. You do it. Even if I'm there, you are the one who should do it. That's a great honor to me. And I would, in that wise, now have the uh, honor and privilege to cut the ribbon. Executive Officer Numukunda Kanye, led Vice President Dabo and guest on a conducted tour of the conference hall. After the official commissioning of the conference hall, guests were hosted to a buffet.